So today I'm going to be walking you through the basics of using the arrow operator in C++. So the arrow operator allows us to access different elements um, using the pointer variable and it acts sort of similar to the dot operator except for it allows us to access members of structures using pointers which can be extremely important when uh, referencing and dereferencing different variables so <clears throat> we're going to base this example off of code that will be linked in the bio uh, we have uh, a header file which contains a class of person um, as well as uh, one that contains a class of employee that is a child to person. Um, the person class has a string as a name, an integer as a birth date, and an integer as an age. Uh, whereas the employee class has all of those integers as well as another integer that represents their salary. So in order to build out this driver, we're going to start by writing out our function in main. And then we'll have... <coughs> the we'll, we'll we'll set we'll set a new person call them p1 we'll give them a name of dan June 5th, 93 as a birthday, and that would make them 26 years old. Next we'll have an employee, EO2, we'll call them Dan as well. So we'll just change this to Dan1 and Dan2. These characters are completely fictional. They're not based off of anyone in real life. And we'll give them a birthday of May 18, 95. It would be uh, 24 right now, I think. All right. So now that we've filled in those variables, um, we have a person, we have an employee. Um, in order to uh, set uh, an employee variable to a pointer, we can write the following uh, syntax. We'll call a person star. Now this is referencing the pointer and this references employee two. So now is when uh, the arrow operator comes in handy because within person and employee we have a print function that are significant to, to each of those header files and so in order to print uh, employee two we have to call or reference the pointer of PO2 and if we were to use the dot operator dot operator if we were to use the dot operator that would give us some awkward results like so we can try to run this I always spell impl with an e. 
All right. Oh, it looks like we're getting another error. We forgot to put in a salary for this person. Let's say 100,000. Ah, and there we go. Error, left of print must have a class struck union. Type is person. Pointer, did you intend to use the arrow operator instead? And so maybe I'm a stubborn coder and I don't want to use the arrow operator. So instead, I wrap this in parens. All right, still not working. What if I do this? That runs, and when we run person driver, we're given back our corporate employee, Dan2. Um, so instead of wrapping our pointer in parentheses, there's an operator that exists that allows us to access members of this uh, person class, employee class. And so instead of using these to help make our code look a little prettier, we can just use the fat arrow, or not the fat arrow, the, the, the normal arrow operator. And the result is much the same as using uh, parentheses and the dot operator. So the dot operator is used to access members of a structure. The arrow operator allows us to access members of a structure using pointers.